All right, as my dog walks through the background, probably not overly sanitary, that's okay. I'm going to give a quick little knife work demo to show some of the most common things we're going to cut in a kitchen. We have some onions, I have some red onions here, some garlic, some carrots, which I've already peeled, some celery and some parsley. And uh, I have here a bowl where I'm going to save, I've already trimmed, I didn't think you needed to see me peel a carrot. I'm gonna save my trimmings, the pieces of carrot, the pieces of celery, the skins, and the little pieces from the onions, because this is all going to get put into a Ziploc bag and frozen, and then used to make vegetable stock. So the first vegetable that, very easy to show how to, to work with, that you'll be working with a ton, is going to be onions. And when you're working with an onion, I cut off the top and I usually cut it right through the root. If they have a really big hairy root, you can cut that off, but these ones, they tend to be, these are nice and small. If they were like nice and long, you can cut them off. And I don't use those for stock because those are dirty. But this, even the skins, all of this can go right into my bowl. The skins give a lovely golden color, whether they're the yellow skins or the red skins, uh, or the white skins, whichever um, type of onion you have, uh, they give a really nice color to the stock that you're making. And I peel off as much of the paper as you possibly can. And if the paper is really thin, you can even get right in there and just peel off the whole first layer. Because again, this isn't going to waste. This is going to become part of the flavor in our stock. I'm gonna show you three different cuts. Actually, they're basically two different cuts of how to work with an onion. One is a mince and one is a slice. The trick with working in with onions is that you wanna work fast and you don't want to, uh, you wanna make sure your knife is sharp and you want to not really agitate it too much because that's when you get a lot of the sulfur compounds cause the burning in your eyes. Um, and the easiest way to do this, you may have some this done on TV, is I'm going to make one cut sort of parallel to the board, but not all the way through the root. You can see how I'm holding it right there. And then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut again, not going all the way through the root because I want it to hold completely together. So it's still one nice big piece. And once I've done that, you can do this as fine as you want to. This would be called a dice, nice diced onions, maybe a mince. What you don't want to do, since I've got it nice and perfect like that, you don't want to start sitting here going like this because that's what's going to really cause the onion to release its fumes and burn your eyes. So the better you get at doing this in just two motions, um, the less pain you're gonna be in if you have to do a bunch of onions. So that's a small dice. You could also do it, maybe just do two or three. I would do this size if I was going to make like a stew or something like that. Um, so you can do a small mince, you can do a really large mince. That totally depends on what the recipe is. Uh, so that's really short and basic. The second one I'll do, and I'll just do half an onion. I could use some of this red onion a little bit later. And it is warm here today, so these onions are quite pungent. <laughs> My eyes are already burning. Peel off the skin. And with this one, I'm actually gonna cut through the root. And it's good on these red onions. You can see how there's these little lines. What I'm going to do is cut, basically following these lines, all the way through to the center. And again, you can do this as thin or as fine as you, or as thick as you want. Once you get to where it's a little uncomfortable, tip it back down. And this is called a sliced onion. This would be used for um, grilled onions that you're going to put on a hamburger for a French onion soup. It's another basic cut. That one was really very pungent. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna quickly Wash off my board, just so my carrots and my celery don't get too oniony. And the simple thing with carrots, I've saved the skins. 
I'm gonna cut off both of the ends. I'm gonna throw them into my bowl that I'm going to use to make stock, and I'll show you that later. The two main ways to cut a carrot are just in little rounds, which could be used in pasta or a salad. And you see how I'm keeping my hands nice and tucked under? I don't have my fingers out like that. If you keep your hands tucked under, the knife is always just kind of cutting, touching the middle of my finger. And that's a nice little sliced round carrot. A second way we can do carrots is cutting them at an angle and then sort of rolling. It's called a rolling cut. These look really nice when you've got those big horse carrots and you wanna do a nice stew or for roasted carrots. And then we get these nice little round cuts. They're very pretty once they're all cooked off. A lot of just knife work is just to make your food look pretty. And then with the celery, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna cut off the whole root, this whole part. If this is a little dirty, you can get rid of that. That's gonna be compost. But this I'm going to throw into my bowl that's gonna go on to make my stock. This has a lot of flavor, but it's very fibrous, and I don't necessarily wanna really use that. With my celery, celery are a tricky thing to make look pretty because they're an odd shape. But the easiest way to get a nice kind of cut from celery is to cut it into three or four pieces. So you've got long sticks, and if they're sort of flared at the end, you've got a beautiful little celery stick. If you wanna use this for a soup or something, again, if it's a nice quick soup, you could cut them into really small pieces like this. Or if it's a bigger, stew, you could cut them into bigger pieces. So what you're cooking is going to determine a lot of the size that you want your cuts. So it's, it's quite easy to work with. The last two things, I'm going to show you some garlic, fresh garlic. Again, the paper, I can take off the paper. Paper goes right into my little bowl. The easiest way to work with garlic, cut off the little ends if they're turning a little green save them. Easiest way to get garlic is um, if you really want big pieces, just cut them into slices like this. That's a nice sliced garlic. If you want it to be mashed, which is going to give a lot more of that flavor, I just kind of mash it between the cutting board and you see all that juice coming out and you're really creating a mash. That smells garlicky. So you get it, that's perfectly mushed. That would be used, this would be used more for a pasta or whereas the other would be great in a Caesar salad dressing maybe. Uh, of course, if you're making a stew or if you want um, a little less aggressive garlic flavor, you could just throw in a whole clove that's not even cut and then remove it later. The finer it's mashed, the more garlicky it's going to taste uh, when you're cooking it. And then the last thing I wanted to show is the proper way to cut green herbs. Because a lot of times, again, you see people cut, 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 cutting. Um, the easiest way to cut something like parsley is I've removed the stems. So I have kind of a nice little chunk of parsley, fresh parsley. And you really want to agitate it as little as possible. I cut it through once. If, it's, if I want to get it a little smaller, I just kind of put it back together and just go over it once or twice. And that's perfectly fine minced or freshly chopped parsley. The point being, I don't want to sit here going like this. Because if you sit here going like this, you're going to get, you're, it's almost like you're, you're shredding it, you're pureeing it. The more green you have on your board, the less flavor you're going to have in your herbs. So the less you cut it, the more flavorful it's going to be, no matter what you add it into. So parsley, cilantro, sort of the, the more delicate herbs, you don't really want to cut all that much. So I have this nice little plate of different cut vegetables. And then I have my bowl of that. What I'm gonna do with the stuff in the bowl to take a little Ziploc bag. I'm going to put all of this into my Ziploc bag. And once this gets filled up, 
I'm gonna drop this in my freezer. Once this gets filled up, I'm gonna use it to make vegetable stock, chicken stock. It's a way to save those parts that aren't generally edible, but can give you a ton of flavor. So that's some basic knife skills.